Tucked away in the quiet rural countryside of Sumter County are 91 acres of motocross madness. This is Baker's Factory, where some of the best motocross riders in the world train. And it's the vision of elite trainer, Alden Baker. It's been 15 years that I've been you know, a personal trainer in, in, in motorsport alone. And the next big step is to have your own facility and have all those pieces where I can now produce the tracks that I feel will help elevate the riding and then be able to contain the whole you know, procedure, meaning that we do all the riding, the training. So we're all in-house. Baker believes Central Florida provides the perfect combination of resources for a motocross training facility. Really cool thing about this property is that all the clay comes from here and this central part of Florida, it's almost the last little bit of a hilly area before it becomes sand and flat, you know. So we've actually got the red clay that you kind of normally get up north and then we've got the white gummier clay which to me is a, is a west coast sort of California clay. So we couldn't find a better place to have all of those pieces together to do what we need to do and train the guys to be at their best at multiple areas around the country. So really I think Central Florida here is just perfect for, for what we need. Baker has worked with the best riders in the business, like motocross stars Ricky Carmichael, James Bubba Stewart, Ryan Villapoto, and Ryan Dungey. Eldon's got a good perspective on how to train each individual athlete and, and meets and tailors its program to their needs and I think that's important because not everybody's the same. I would say just work on, you know, maybe a little bit on the exit, moving your weight a little bit towards the rear and finish, yes. With a guy like him, he can look from the outside in and get a better, better view and, and understanding and, and help you move forward. And then you can look at it big picture, okay, and see if there's weaknesses here, where is that coming from? And I think that's important. He's been a huge uh, impact on my life and, and career. There's multiple pieces in this sport that, that you require, you know, so the riding is the main thing, you know, and how do we elevate that? How do we make that better? And then obviously blend in the conditioning and the strength. All right, so pull-ups, legs out, let's work that core, all right. Baker trains the entire athlete. That includes conditioning. Nice, uh, so roll that ball forward when you go back. And proper nutrition. That's why I try and educate you guys on what are you looking for, high nutrient value, and stay away from refined carbohydrates. Well, the biggest thing is whatever you're looking at to eat, make sure, that, okay, okay, has this got a lot of nutrient value in it? <laughs> Working with Eldon's definitely been a, a huge opportunity for me, you know. He's got a great track record, but also at the same time, you know, he's taken it even a step further with, with the, the Baker's facility. The thing, like a facility like this as well, it's like we have a place to go to. Where not many riders, they, they're all over the map, they go to this place one day over here, but we have a solid place that we can rely on and go to and, and get the work done, and that, that's the biggest part. Yeah, good job! He's one of the best. He breeds champions and, um, you know, hoping that uh, a little bit of that can rub off on me. You know, he's located in Florida and that's kind of good for us too because um, a lot of our outdoor races are more humid and hot and, and you get that here and you, uh, you acclimate here in the summer. Everything we work on here is just trying to benefit us for the races. To get to the professional level, you, you have to have some sort of ability and talent. Um, but the biggest thing is taking that at at, at a high level and then making it better. The more sort of data you can get of what the athlete's thinking and what his body's doing, the better. We have a GPS, you know, a system that goes on the helmet too, so areas that I can't see even on the track, when I go back home and I download it, I can see uh, their entry speed, middle of the turn, exit, how high and low they're going over the jumps. A lot of areas that you constantly want to, you know, be making better or making them aware of to be better in, so uh, it helps. I mean, between technology and then that have a lot of hands-on, it, it, it helps to piece it together. Bike Week at Daytona provided a stiff test of Baker's training methods, and his riders excelled, winning both events. Marvin Musquin captured the 250 class title, while Ryan Dungey took home the 450 championship, a Daytona sweep for Baker's factory. We did some testing preparing for that race, so I really felt like we did our homework and um, it really showed on the night. That race is one 
known for being really tough and brutal and, and physically straining on the body and just, just everything about it. It was an awesome night. To see them obviously perform and win races, and especially Daytona is a unique and a tough event. Uh, that was huge. And then you come back and, and then you look, you know, with all the stresses and stuff you've got to be taking care of, yeah, it makes it a lot easier for sure. While savoring his success, Alden Baker is looking ahead. Now I want to do everything right. I mean, this is obviously an investment in my future too. So I want it to be basically the golf course of tracks. I feel we've got the right facility. We've got the, enough space to, to do it. And uh, I'm excited. I think that's something that's just going to evolve and grow and grow and get better. See full episodes of One Central Florida the first Thursday of each month at 8 p.m.